Did Samsung just fix the bug that froze its biggest software update? After a lot of delays, Samsung finally began rolling out the stable version of One UI 7.0 based on Android 15 to its latest phones. But just as Galaxy S24 users were starting to receive the update, Samsung suddenly paused everything. Why? Because of a serious bug. And now, just a day later, the company is ready to bring it back. Samsung had started rolling out One UI 7.0 to several devices, including the Galaxy S24, the Galaxy Z Flip 6, Galaxy Z Fold 6, and even the Galaxy Z Fold Special Edition. But that celebration didn't last long. A major issue popped up. Some users weren't able to unlock their phones after installing the update. That's not a small problem. The bug mainly affected users in South Korea, but Samsung didn't want to take any chances. So they paused the update globally. It was the right move, but it definitely frustrated a lot of users who had already been waiting months for this update. Now, according to trusted leaker Ice Universe at Universes, Samsung has already fixed the bug and the company is planning to resume the update rollout today, starting with the Galaxy S24 series. This includes the Galaxy S24, S24 Plus, and the S24 Ultra. The update will now come with a firmware version ending in BYD9, which likely includes the fix for the issue that stopped users from unlocking their phones. At the moment, it's not yet clear whether the Galaxy Z Flip 6, Galaxy Z Fold 6, or the Z Fold Special Edition will get the update resumed today as well. But the Galaxy S24 series appears to be first in line. Now, here's where it gets a bit more complicated. Samsung's One UI 7.0 was already delayed by several months. While many other Android brands rolled out their Android 15 based updates earlier, Samsung took longer, probably due to the big changes made in One UI 7. That made users even more eager to finally get it. So, when this rollout was paused just a day after launch, it naturally caused a wave of frustration. For a company like Samsung, which dominates the Android space, this kind of mistake does raise some questions about quality control and software testing. After all, bugs like this, where users can't even access their own phone, should be caught during internal testing. It's a reminder of how important it is to get things right before pushing updates to millions of users. That said, Samsung acted quickly. The pause happened fast, the bug was identified, and now the fix seems to be rolling out just a day later. That kind of response time is actually impressive. Still, the pressure is on for the company to make sure this time the update works smoothly, no more surprises. One UI 7.0 is a major update that brings new design changes, performance improvements, and better battery optimization. So people have been excited about it. The last thing anyone wants is to install it and then end up with a locked phone. With this new build, hopefully that risk is now gone. As Samsung starts pushing the update again, users across the world should soon see a notification to update their Galaxy S24 devices. If you've been waiting, it looks like your patience might finally pay off just make sure to back up your data just in case. Is your Galaxy S24 still waiting for the Android 15 update? If you're in the United States and using a factory unlocked version, the good news is it's finally here. Samsung has officially started rolling out the One UI 7.0 update for the Galaxy S24, S24 Plus, and S24 Ultra models. This update brings the latest Android version along with several key improvements that can boost your phone's overall performance and security. The update didn't arrive everywhere at once. Samsung began releasing it earlier this week in South Korea, followed by selected countries in Europe. Now users in the US are getting access, but it's important to note that it's only reaching devices that are factory unlocked. So if your Galaxy S24 was purchased directly from Samsung or isn't connected to a specific carrier, you should be able to download the update right now. What exactly is packed into this update? One UI 7.0 is based on Android 15, so it brings a fresh layer of changes under the hood. Users can expect smoother performance, improved battery usage, and tighter security features. Samsung has also included the April 2025 security patch, helping to guard your phone from the latest vulnerabilities. Depending on your current setup, the size of the update may be different. If you join the One UI 7 beta program earlier, your update will be smaller around 400 to 500 MBs. But if you're still on Android 14, then prepare for a bigger download that can go up to 5 GPS. That's a pretty large file, so it's a good idea to connect to a Wi-Fi network and make sure your phone has enough free space before starting the update. If you want to check whether the update is available for your device, simply go to your phone's settings menu and tap on software update and choose the download and install option. If the update is ready, it should begin downloading right away. If not, don't panic, it just means Samsung hasn't released it to your specific unit yet. Updates usually roll out in stages, so you might get it in the next few days. 
For users who are more comfortable with advanced options, there's also the choice of downloading the firmware manually from Samsung's official servers and flashing it onto the device. But this is only recommended for people who are already familiar with manual installation and flashing methods, as doing it wrong could lead to software problems. This update is more than just a new version of Android. It marks the first big upgrade for the Galaxy S24 series since its release earlier this year. Samsung's commitment to long-term support also adds value here. The company has promised up to seven years of software updates for the Galaxy S24 lineup. That means your device could keep getting new Android versions all the way to Android 21, along with ongoing security patches. That's a long runway, especially in the Android world, where many devices stop receiving updates after just a few years. So if you own the Galaxy S24, S24 Plus, or S24 Ultra in the US and it's a factory unlocked version, your phone is now getting faster, safer, and more up-to-date thanks to Android 15 and 1 UI 7.0. Even if your device hasn't received the update just yet, it likely will soon, as Samsung continues its phase rollout. If this information helped you out, go ahead and give this video a like. And if you want to stay ahead with the latest news on Android updates, Samsung software features, and upcoming smartphone releases, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Is the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 7 really going to bring a major camera upgrade, or are we just getting a bigger camera bump for no reason? That's the question a lot of Samsung fans are asking right now. According to a trusted source, the upcoming Galaxy Z Fold 7 will come with a slightly bigger camera bump than the one on last year's Galaxy Z Fold 6. Naturally, when people hear bigger camera bump, they assume better camera hardware, and in this case, that might be true. Leaks suggest that the main rear camera on the Galaxy Z Fold 7 could be upgraded to a massive 200 megapixel sensor. That's a big jump from the 50 megapixel sensor used on the Fold 6. If this is accurate, it would be one of the biggest improvements in the Fold series so far, especially in terms of photography. However, it's still unclear if the larger camera bump is only because of the upgraded sensor. The difference in size may not even be obvious at a glance. You probably need to compare both phones side by side with measuring tools to really notice it. Now, before anyone gets too excited, there is a bit of a catch. Even though the Fold 7 is expected to have a much better camera than the Fold 6, it's still not expected to beat the Galaxy S25 Ultra. That phone continues to be Samsung's best camera performer. So while the Fold 7 will offer great camera quality, it won't be the absolute best Samsung has to offer. Still, 200 megapixels is nothing to complain about. That's more than enough for most users. Whether you're taking pictures in daylight, low light, or recording videos, you'll likely be very happy with what the Fold 7 can do. Beyond the camera, the Galaxy Z Fold 7 is expected to be a beast when it comes to performance. It's rumored to feature the Snapdragon 8 Elite chipset, which is the same powerful processor found in the Galaxy S25 Ultra. This means the Fold 7 won't just look good, it'll be fast, smooth, and capable of handling everything from gaming to multitasking with ease. Now let's go back to that camera bump for a second. While it might be slightly larger, it's not something most people will care about. At worst, the phone might wobble a bit more when placed flat on a table. But honestly, most of us use cases or hold our phones in hand most of the time. A tiny bump isn't going to change much. And if you think this is a big design shift, just wait until you see what Apple is reportedly doing with the iPhone 17 lineup.